Hello Virgo, welcome, I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so of course everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, and for the three tarot, she's read with you as well. Thank you. See what's going on. jump into this. What are you doing over there? Okay. Hmm. Where are you at, Virgo? <laughs> Where are you at? Um, you're playing hide and go seek. You're playing hide and go seek, Virgo. Interesting. It's like trying to track a ghost. We can do that too. Okay, interesting. Um, you kind of show me that you're in the background of a situation, Virgo, and you're dealing with quite a bit of people. I'm not going to say like you're, you know, lurking in the shadows or anything like that. You know, it's possible, but um, a lot of this energy is you in a group. You in a group, whether it's you and two other people, whether it's you and six other people, however many, it doesn't matter. Um, if you really want to know, I'm looking at 11 people, but who's counting? Um, you're showing me that this starts off in such a way where there's so much excitement, so much happiness, such a good time with everyone involved. Um, what you're saying is emotionally speaking, everything feels great. Everything feels good. Everything's like, everything's in its place. Everyone's on the same page. Everyone's working well together. Uh, but the more that you're watching things progress and move forward, and this is where I'm kind of like, where are you at Virgo? Um, the more that you're keeping track of things. I don't exactly know what's going on, but you're kind of like saying, unfortunately, something has to be cut short and come to an end or a closure. Um, I don't know what this is, but it's like, okay, fun's over, party's over, time to go home. Now, whatever this unfortunate and very difficult and painful closure is that you are kind of realizing or watching and unfolding in front of you, um, this is what's very interesting. There, there's something here that is... Jeez, how do I say this? Um, it's interesting. It's very interesting. I'm looking at a, an enigma. I 
I think that you're well aware that things are actually moving forward, Virgo, but I feel like you're also well aware of how things are moving forward. Sometimes difficult endings can bring about either smooth beginnings or difficult beginnings. Uh, but unfortunately, I kind of feel like you're a little bit indecisive as to which side of the, in a sense, good or bad does this fall on. Um, you're, you're trying to kind of like decipher and grasp and truly understand like, okay, now what? Where's this going? Um, you're, you're trying to assess and analyze the situation, but you're also trying to work with the circumstances as well to kind of have things move forward on a good foot, in a sense. A lot of this energy and fixation is regarding how things are going to move forward from this new beginning. So it's this transitional period, this transitional state that you're going through that it's like, is this supposed to be happening or is it not supposed to be happening? Because you're, you're trying to make some sort of judgment call about whether or not it's good or not. And it's like, well, that depends on perspective now you look at it. Um, it's kind of like saying, well, it was a great time this weekend. Everyone got sloshed and hammered and drunk and I blacked out. It's like, it was positive. And it's like, yeah, but overall, was it really that positive? Um, just as an example. Some might say yes, depending on perspective and their mindset and their lifestyle. And other people might be like, no, it's not. Um, you are making some sort of decision here to start something new for yourself, Virgo. And right away, it seems and feels like, once again, it starts off on a very high note. There's a lot of happiness to start something new. And I kind of feel like for you, it's just an energy of on to the next thing, on to the next thing. Whatever that means. New path, new course, different, whatever. Great. Happiness. And then a split second later, it's like, well, what's the conflict then? Is it with you? And Is it with them? Is there some sort of gossip, drama, conflict going around? Who's saying what? Who's doing what? Um, don't exactly know, Virgo, unless this is all you within you. But there's a lot of anxiety building because of this. Don't know what's going on, but... It's between you and someone. I don't know what that's about. Interesting. What is that about? <laughs> you're not showing me, Virgo. Once again, you're not showing me. I don't know what this is about, but I will say that there seems to be like this um, interesting dynamic between you and a lot of people, actually. But more specifically, there's there's like a, one connection here that stands out amongst the others, and that's it's like that. Like I said, that that's the the connection. Um, that's what's also putting you through it, and so in a sense, not only are you going through it over some sort of collaborative energy between you and others. You're going through it all 
over as well regarding a group of friends possibly, but you're also going through it because of a very specific closer friend or relationship or connection as well. Um, like I said, it's like, where are you at, Virgo? It's like, not to joke or, you know, make fun of you or anything, but like hiding in the shadows. It's like, I'm watching all of this unfold and take place in front of me. Um, I'm watching this, I'm watching that, I'm watching that. It's like, you're watching some sort of unfortunate unfolding with everything and everyone around you happening and taking place. And you're ultimately confused as to like, in a sense, how to kind of create this sense of peace amongst everything and amongst everyone. I'm not going to say that you're trying to like be the peacekeeper. At the same time, it also kind of feels like that. Um, you're just wanting to clear the air. And unfortunately, whatever this vision is of how you're wanting to kind of accomplish this or move forward with this, it starts off with communication between you and them and you and them and you and them and you and them. And in a sense, like Virgo, it's like you're the mediator in a sense where you're juggling all these different dynamics and situations and circles of people and different groups. Um, and as you're kind of putting your foot down, that's where this clarity is gained. But unfortunately, as the air is being cleared, there's also the emotional aftermath of everything that you're realizing that's playing kind of catch up with you. You're showing me, it's like, okay, you know, can we just move past this and move forward and continue on? Um, and so in a sense, you are being recognized by kind of, in a sense, clearing the air. But what's interesting about this is for some reason, you're kind of more so at this pivotal point in your life, Virgo, where you're deciding like who to commit yourself to. And I don't, I'm not going to say this in like a romantic or relationship type of way. It's just an overall energy of you're using your discernment is this collaborative energy worth it? Is this person worth investing with? Is this a is this a worthy friend in a sense? Are they loyal? Are they worthy of being more committed to relationship wise or friendship wise? That's what I'm saying, Virgo. You're juggling so much energy in the situation, and more than likely, you probably keep all this internalized because you're showing me it's like you're trying to juggle all of this all at the same time, and this is that energy of where it's like a slightly fixated on all of this. It's like, there's highs, there's lows, there's this group, there's that group, there's this friend, there's that friend, there's that interest, there's that interest, there's this investment, all of it all at once. And you're saying, let's keep going. But even though it's energetically exhausting on you, you're saying, well, there's definitely good memories and good moments and good times here between you and everyone. But you're also seriously thinking about like, what is worth it and who is worth it? Who's worth the time? Who's worth the energy? Who's worth your attention, literally? Um, because like I said, you energetically Virgo are going through it by trying to juggle everything and everyone and in a sense create this balance and peace with everything. And it's like, that's a big responsibility. That's a big responsibility to bear on your shoulders, Virgo. Of course, if you are dealing with anything, you could be dealing with an air sign, a fire sign, a water sign, or an earth sign. They're all here. Goodbye.